PDS flexible plate is a perforated or non-perforated material indicated for nasal soft tissue and cartilage reconstruction. It can be used as a shaping and structural aid during procedures including septoplasty and rhinoplasty. Made from the same polydioxanone compound as Ethicon's PDS suture, it is fully absorbable yet provides stability and support during the healing process. PDS flexible plate can be used in a variety of ways. In extracorporeal septoplasty, the PDS flexible plate is trimmed with scissors to fit the prepared cartilage. In more complex repairs, it is helpful to trace the removed cartilage on the plate before cutting. This will help ensure the best possible fit with other septal structures when the cartilage is repositioned. Leave a 1 to 2 cm posterior tail for extra support. After the PDS flexible plate is trimmed, the separate pieces of cartilage are placed in an anatomical position. The cartilage is affixed to the plate using 4-0 or 5-0 PDS suture on a curved or straight needle. The suture should penetrate the PDS flexible plate itself and should not pass through the perforation to ensure the best fixation or security of cartilage to the plate. The composite graft is then placed in position and secured using 4-0 or 5-0 PDS suture. In patients who do not exhibit any dorsal deviation, it may be possible to perform septoplasty intranasally using a scoring or etching technique. The trimmed PDS flexible plate is inserted between the cartilage and mucoperichondrium and then sutured to both using a mattress or quilting technique. In rhinoplasty, PDS flexible plate introduces sufficient structural stability for cartilage reinforcement and increased strength during healing. For constructing a columellar strut, the PDS flexible plate is trimmed to the desired shape and placed in position between the medial cura of the lower lateral cartilages. The size and shape can be refined gradually to achieve the necessary fit. A columellar strut can also be constructed away from the implantation site. In this case, one or more pieces of cartilage are sutured to the PDS flexible plate on a sterile surface as in extracorporeal septoplasty. The composite graft is then placed in position and secured using 4-0 or 5-0 PDS suture. For constructing a septal extension graft, the PDS flexible plate is trimmed so that a small section will overlap the caudal end of the septum. One or two pieces of cartilage of the desired size are then sutured to the PDS flexible plate away from the implantation site. Finally, the composite graft is secured to the nasal spine and the caudal septum. For constructing an Aller Batten graft, the PDS flexible plate is trimmed to the desired shape and then sutured to the pieces of cartilage away from the implantation site. The composite graft is placed above the lateral cura and secured using 4-0 or 5-0 PDS suture. It can also be placed deep into the lateral cura and sutured into position. PDS flexible plate. For nasal soft tissue and cartilage reconstruction, it's a valuable aid, improving cartilage graft shaping and stability while streamlining procedures to create excellent surgical outcomes.